Nothing today without a reservation, I'm afraid. Monsignor Spellacy's table. I was under the impression that Monsignor Spellacy would be lunching with Mr. Amsterdam. Well, you made a mistake, fuckhead. Right this way, sir. I'm sure I'll have a better table in a moment, uh, Monsignor. That's perfectly yeah. all right, John. I'll have a Rob Roy straight up twist, thank you. And, uh, Tommy, what would you like? A Schlitz straight up, no twist, as long as his eminence is paying. I'm so sorry, Monsignor. It's all right. <laughs> the usual, Monsignor? Yes, please, thank you. Tommy, what would you like? Uh, the usual will be fine for me, too. Yeah. Whatever it is. We'll find out. His eminence told me that to uh, tell you that he was very grateful for what you did for Father Gag. Yeah, that's nothing. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Oh, yes, I saw this before. It's a very nice photo. Get your face in the paper off it enough desk for a priest and all. For a big priest from Boyle Heights. Oh, yes. you know, you, you always wear a harp with class. In fact, what are you going to call yourself when you become Pope? <laughs> I don't know. I thought about it. Maybe I'll call myself Gelasius II. Yeah? That's a nice little ring to it, don't you think? Then again, it could be something simpler. Thomas, after you. There's never been a Pope Thomas. Thomas the First. Thomas the First, I like that. It's nice and calm. Constant reminder to me that the flesh is weak. Give me that pious crap, Des. There's that raffle uh, at the Holy Innocence last year. Fixing it so that Sonny O'Meara's daughter got that new Studebaker. No wonder you gave such a big hello to Sonny over there. What did you get out of that? Sonny's vote on the planning commission. Got the property condemned for the new school at Holy Innocence. Well, you should have mentioned the name Cornelia Cronin to him. You would have saved yourself a Studebaker. Corky, they call her. She's a bookkeeper at one of his funeral parlors, and she broke her back one weekend on Sonny's boat when Mrs. Sonny was off making a retreat. He prays a lot better on a boat, Sonny, is what I hear. And she gets $500 a month for life, Corky. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, for the limp. This on my tab, waiter. It's all right, Jack. Thank you. No, 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 my son. Your money's no good here. Oh, I'm sorry. Jack, this is my brother Tom. Jack Amsterdam. How are you? I'm at a pleasure. Yeah. Got the family resemblance. That's nice. It's nice to have an older brother. I wish I would have had an older brother. I don't hear from you about Rancho Rosa. Well, we're doing some new surveys, Jack, and as soon as we're finished, we'll talk about it, okay? I see. Does Eminence get the invitation to my fundraiser at St. Veronica's? Yes, he did. You tell his Eminence I'm counting on him. I will. Nice to meet you. Likewise. He's a winner, your brother. And only the winner goes to dinner. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You hear that, Monsignor? Only the winner goes to dinner. Runs in the family, brains. I used to work for you. I oh, am? Yeah? When was that? Oh, when 
you were running whores, I was your bagman in Wilshire Vice. I did the payoffs for Brenda. I'm sure you remember Brenda. Of course, that was before you started doing fundraisers for St. Veronica's. I gotta be going. This brother of yours is a little disturbed. You gotta watch out for him. <laughs> 